And I know they have a deluxe one or a 2.0, not a deluxe. Is this an album? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Renisha and it's a vibe over here, okay? If you like beauty, lifestyle, traveling, vlogs, fashion, fragrances, then you're going to love my channel. So I'm just going to give you a moment to hit that subscribe button. All right. Cool. Now, since you are subscribed, let's get into this video, baby. Okay, 2023 fragrance haul. Like, I can't believe I'm finally doing this. I've been pushing this off for a very long time. And the thing is, is that I've had a, quite a bit in my collection, but I feel like I needed more to do a video. But honestly, I got a lot, we got a lot to talk about. And um, I can't wait to show you guys like some of my faves and then um, ones that I probably wouldn't like purchase again but i hope you guys love this video be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below just let me know what fragrance you are going to purchase um if you have any like questions for me about anything so yeah let's get into it the first fragrance that we're gonna be talking about is ariana grande cloud if you follow me on instagram if you follow me on instagram and if you don't go ahead and go to the cards down below and click my Instagram link so you can keep up with me. Um, I rave about this. This is my third bottle. I had to opt for a bigger one because the little ones just weren't lasting me. Apparently Walmart had the one ounce on sale for $25. I had no idea about it. And of course it was all sold out once everybody found out about it. But yeah, I love this. I love the packaging. Um, this is something that I will never stop buying. It's a perfect everyday scent. It's light. It stays on your clothes all day. Um, and Miss Ponytail was really in her bag when she came out with this. And I just feel like this is one of those things that I will always have in my collection. It's a staple. I'm always going to um, re-up on this. And I'm so happy that I got me a bigger one. It just makes me so happy. I've been spraying this every day. And you see it's only been down a little bit. But definitely worth the money. Um, and I will let you know the notes here. So the main accords say it is sweet, lactonic, um, vanilla, coconut, and musky. Now... I feel like I don't get uh, coconut from this. I'm sorry, I don't get musky from this, but I do get the vanilla and coconut. Um, but like I said, very light. Um, it is stays on your clothes, stays on your skin all day. Like I said, everyday scent. I get a lot of compliments on this. I even missed it in my hair sometimes. So you guys should definitely give this a try. Um, you can find this at Ulta, I know for sure. I personally get my fragrances, this is not sponsored. Um, I personally get my fragrances from FragranceNet.com or Rebel Sense. I got this from FragranceNet.com, they always have 30% off. So um, that is how I was able to snag almost all of my perfumes in my collection, truthfully, unless the actual, uh, another site is having a sale. But again, you won't regret her perfect start to your collection too like if you're not a, if you're someone someone who's like i don't know where to start this is a really good place to start i will say this is a great like starter perfume so that is cloud um again miss ponytail did her thing moving on to our next fragrance this is a really really sweet one okay you might cough a little bit but this is miss pink sugar and it's exactly what it sounds like pink sugar if you want to smell like a cotton candy let me, oh, let me see. I don't know. I don't even know how to stop this song. Though. And I don't even know if that's what he said. But basically, if you want to smell like cotton candy and you want your man to be all over you, whoever you're talking with to be all over you, where does stay house? Baby, they're not going to get off of you. Like, this is sweet, sweet. Like, mm, I have to love wearing this to bed. Um, Now, if you're not like a really, really sweet person, then this may not be for you. I'm gonna just go ahead and let you know that right now because it is sweet but it's super affordable um and it's a glass bottle got this on fragrancenet.com as well um as you can see i've been tearing her up like i've been having this for so long and it lasts for so long too as much as i spray this um i was wearing it to work wearing it's bed like it's such a great layering scent uh too i believe this is probably like 20 dollars, and i've seen it at um marshall's so you can definitely pick this up anywhere. Again, I got this from FragranceNet and it was only like $20. So a very affordable option. You'll still smell good, very girly, but super, super sweet. So if you're not a sweet girl, 
you don't want to smell like cotton candy literally or um just super super sweet then this may not be for you okay um and yeah but it's a great great purchase again i'm going this is one of the ones i'm going to re up on because i absolutely love this one and um yeah if you like it you should check it out breakfastnake.com marshalls is where you can find this one so next up we're talking about oh my gosh one of my favorites like i'm going to be really sad when i mean i necessarily don't have to put her up but this is such a great fall like winter scent I mean, you could use it for day night too. So we gonna see, but I gotta get a bigger bottle of this regardless. And that is the YSL Intense. Oh my gosh, bought this during Black Friday. They were having 30% off their actual website. So I bought this off of YSL Beauty and um, yeah, they were having this for 30% off. I believe I got this for $60 rather than 95 or 100. So pretty good deal if you ask me and shipping was free. I was like, yeah, that's, really a no-brainer um because you know the luxury perfumes can get very expensive um especially when you're not ready to commit to a full-size bottle and actually i think i was gonna get a full-size bottle um it was just sold out so i was like okay i want this really really bad i gave it another try and it was crazy is when i first smelled this i did not like it i was like this is very masculine i'm not really seeing what the hype is about but the next time I tried it on my skin and I think I smelled it on somebody, I was like, oh yeah, let me go back to Sephora, Ulta, wherever I was, and let me give this another try. And I love it. When I tell you like, this is one of the ones that get a little spray like, like this ain't a, this ain't a drip or drown. Okay. Like, <laughs> like the cloud drip or drown, pink sugar drip or drown. Like, but my expensive ones, girl, you would like. I can't drip and drown in these. I can layer, but I can't. Girl, I'll be trying to preserve. But um, for, a YSL, for a YSL Libre, the notes in this is vanilla, white floral, lavender, sweet, citrus, aromatic, amber, powdery, floral, and fresh spicy. And I will say um, it definitely gives you that fresh spicy scent, sweet, um, I definitely get a uh, vanilla and amber amber from this. Um, it's just a really, really great fragrance. Like, I can't believe I did not like this before, but best believe um, when she runs out, she will be another one that I will restock on. Um, this is definitely worth the coin, okay? I know YSL in general is expensive when it comes to their fragrances, especially for a one ounce. I mean, you're talking about automatically $95 to $100. Um, try to get your roll on. You know what I'm saying? See how you like that first. And then, um, you know, just work your way up to a little one ounce or something like that. But, um, yeah, I absolutely love this. Perfect for a day night. Perfect fall and winter scent. And like I said, I don't know if she's going to be put up for the rest of the seat, like after um, winter passes. But I feel like I can still get away with this at night. So yeah love this you should definitely grab this you won't regret it go smell it for yourself see how it is on your body chemistry um, i'm bringing you another affordable option which is zara's perfumes now i am this is a zara stand account benji this is a zara stand account especially for their perfumes benji Shh. Um, especially for the perfumes their perfumes are very affordable they come in a glass bottle um they're 17 dollars 20 dollars i mean you really cannot beat that now does the lasting power last no okay this is definitely one of the ones that you're gonna have to reapply but for 17 dollars and you get the cousin you know uh fragrance dupe for the fraction of the cost I'll say it's worth your while. I'll say it's I'll say it's worth your money. And this one that I have in my hand is apple juice. So when I ran out of Chanel Chance, um, which my sister bought me, I was sick. And Chanel is expensive too. Okay, she's starting off at hundred dollars as well. Well, I wasn't ready to spend that money yet, so I was like, let me get to doing some research. And that's when I found out that Zara makes like you know similar fragrances to designers and i was like absolutely and you see she's down to her last like when i tell you i wore this out in spring and summer because this is another like light airy scent you just smell so fresh like 
oh my gosh it's just the perfect spring and summer scent um it literally smells it don't smell like apple juice but i love the name that they gave this because it has uh the fruity citrus floral fresh spicy uh, powdery white floral musky green iris and um that just describes this apple juice by zara perfectly um like i said i would i am gonna get another chanel it's the chanel a e a u tendre the chance chanel um that's another one that i feel like every woman should have because it is such a light airy scent and that does last on your clothes all day i got so many compliments on that chanel um i'm i actually miss it i need to go give me another one um but just talking about it but that was such like i wore that out and when i tell y'all i um that lasted me for a whole year because again i knew how expensive it was so i was you know uh-uh baby you can't have none of this i'm sorry it's too expensive <laughs> but again you won't regret it zara's fragrances are definitely mm -hmm. a good affordable option if you're not ready to spend a bag for real so and you can look on tiktok girls do reviews on zara like compare similar um scents to designer fragrances to zara all the time so and that's what i did i did my research forgot how i heard about it but i'm glad i did because zara will forever have my heart in regards to their fragrances so y'all should definitely check it out um this will be a great starter per like that would be a great way to start your perfume collection as well it doesn't necessarily have to be designer fragrances you know you can start off with this it don't it don't really matter all right so we have another yso fragrance which is black opium now i know the girlies be coming for her neck talking about she smell like old lady talking about she smell like old lady but i absolutely love this fragrance like I guess it's the coffee beans or I think it, I think the notes have coffee in it but um it's something in here that the girls don't hey shh. it's something in here that the girls do not like and I I'm sorry but I can't relate I just can't I just can't um so these notes are vanilla coffee sweet warm spicy white floral soft juicy fruity woody powdery balsamic and when i tell you i personally get the warm spicy and the coffee from this it just smells so good like i absolutely love it and you see like there's i mean there's nothing in here it's literally a drop like i see it because i got this in 2021 so you see how long i'm telling you because these are so expensive your girl don't be no dripping drown no dripping around <laughs> sometimes but not all the time but yeah like i absolutely fell in love with this my boyfriend actually bought this for me and i was like oh my gosh like you got great taste and i absolutely fell in love with it i fell in love with this so much you see these cousins okay dupes um, this is Zara Gardenia. So another affordable option if you're not ready to drop the coin on the black opium, but you love how it smells. I promise you this smells identical to black opium. It's actually scary. And this is a Zara fragrance again, $17.90 I think it was. Um, it's so pretty. The bottle is so pretty. Um, it's just like the apple juice bottle. It's just a purple. But when I tell you like they smell so good now i would like spray my black opium and then i would drip or drown in this one because you know it's 70 dollars rather than 100 dollars. <laughs> but this is one that i absolutely have to grab again because it's that good and as you can see my gardenia one it's it's look it don't have a lot left in there either but when i tell you you won't regret this purchase um go ahead and smell it for yourself like i said the girls they weren't a big fan. Some of the girls were not a big fan. A lot of people said it smelled like old lady. But um, me personally, I love it. It smells grown. It's sexy. It's definitely a night scent. It's not a day scent. And I feel like you can wear this all year round. Um, this is not a specific scent for, you know, fall and winter. Um, so, yeah, I just think this is a date night scent or a night fragrance. Um, so, that is my take on that. Again, 
these two you won't regret. Oh, another newbie that I have added in my fragrance is Swiss Arabian Shagif Oud. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But this is my first Arabian perfume in my collection. All the TikTok girlies were raving about an Arabian perfume. The lasting power on, the, on this perfume is literally all day eight hour day um i wear this to work i layer this with my ysl or the replica coffee break that i showed you guys in my sephora haul and it does so well with this paired with the fenty holiday um body butter oh baby any vanilla lotion even the eos would go, go so well with this but i got this on amazon i'll link this down below in my storefront but um now let me tell you it's strong okay when you spray this you cough like <clears throat> like you choke okay because it's literally that strong it's literally literally that strong but it's a uh, vanilla you got like woodsy a uh, musky um what else nutty metallic powdery oud sweet rose um yeah you definitely get all of those in this i will say but it is very powerful um if you're one like it's it kind of reminds me of the kali vanilla when i first got it i was like wow like this is very very similar to kali Van vanilla which i'm out of i can't show you guys that one because i killed it and i only had the little one but it, it is really similar to that as far as the strong like the strong scent that it has it almost makes you like sneeze or cough um i will say that this swiss arabian perfume does exactly that um when you spray it so don't be alarmed but if you're not a girl that likes that woody musky oud if you don't like ouds you're not gonna like this you're not gonna like it at all so if you if you're not into that i would not pick this up but if you are an oud type of girl musky scent type of girl then this is definitely a fragrance for you 35 dollars on amazon a very affordable option um i plan on getting more arabian perfumes um i saw that they had some um dupes for baccarat rouge and um a delina i think they had a dupe for a delina one too so i definitely want to give those a try and i will let you know when i do but again 35 dollars. i'll link this in my storefront um if you like ouds and musky scents then you would definitely like this swiss arabian they in a bag with these i will say <laughs> So moving on to KKW, which is Kim Kardashian's fragrance line. Um, first of all, when I had white diamonds, I believe it was called, or KKW diamonds, when her and Chloe, I think, or Kim, or uh, not, when Kim and Courtney did a fragrance, I think that's what it was. It was the KKW diamonds. I loved that scent. I wish they would bring it back. Oh my gosh that was my favorite so i'm in this perfume group on facebook i'll link that down below as well i think it, it's called sis you smell good and um i'm also in another one but the girls were raving about this on the blog post when this came out because the notes that they posted i was like oh i love and um the notes from this is vanilla, powdery, musky, caramel, sweet, cacao, woody, balsamic, warm, spicy, aromatic. If you notice, like all of my fragrances kind of have the same notes, which is funny to me. But um, that's just what I like. And the more that you get into fragrances, the more you'll figure out um, what you like in your scents. And, you know, you can look it up on um, Frag... Fragnicta? Fragrant... I have no idea how to say this. I'll link it down, bop, down below, but it like literally tells you the notes on every perfume. But um, yeah, ooh, and oh, it's on me right now. And it's that caramelly, ooh, like it's so good. I'll definitely say I get the dry down is definitely like caramel, caramel vanilla. But um, she was definitely in her bag. I don't pick this up enough, okay? Like, I gravitate more towards my um, YSL and my Cloud and all my other ones. But I be leaving her out in the, to, to die in the dust. Um, but this is really a great fragrance. And I still have a whole bunch left in here. Um, again, this was very inexpensive. I think this was like 45 
no lie like it was not bad at all um yeah I, it's not saying the price on here let me see if i can find it oh it's saying 64 on amazon but i feel like i paid a little less than that when it first came out and this came out last year i believe because i made a little tiktok video to it or maybe 2021 but um yeah this is definitely a slept on scent i don't think this got the recognition it, it deserved but um yeah i love this and as far as longevity goes i will say um it doesn't have a lot of longevity that's what i did not like i was like there's something i didn't like about it and why it doesn't get picked up as much is because the longevity on it is just not the best um so that's what i will say i will be honest about that so it, i mean when i wear fragrances if you don't tell me i smell good then why am i wearing it you know like what's the point i need i need you to smell me you're gonna smell me okay so that's how i feel about that um again still a great buy still very inexpensive you you know you'll what you'll pay for this is what you'll pay for the ariana grande um which i still feel like is a is a good deal just know that it just doesn't last long all right y'all seen her y'all seen her y'all know who she is and i think she she got a real bad rep okay um this is the red temptation zara and as you can see it's barely any left in there because i drip or drown for this one as well all zara ones drip or drown okay like i said you're gonna smell me um so this is um supposed to be a similar scent to the baccarat rouge 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 um and me personally, I've only smelled Baccarat Rouge and Nordstrom. It smells heavenly, but y'all know that's a three hundred dollar bottle. And personally, I'm not. I'm not there yet. <laughs> what, baby? I'm not there yet. That's crazy. I. I want. I think it's called pronounced Bibedo, B Y B E D O. They got that gypsy water. I mean that that fragrance alone is two hundred dollars. The Le Labo is two hundred dollars. I just haven't ripped. When I get in my rich auntie era, then we'll start going up to $200 fragrances. But, um, yeah, I love the smell so bad that I got the Zara Red Temptation. Now, some people say that this smells like alcohol. I personally, I mean, I could see what they mean by that, but it's such a strong scent. And this lasts on my sweaters, like, all day. I would spray this on my clothes and on my sweaters and when I tell you it will still smell like it at the end of the day and every time I go into the office at work I would just get so many compliments on it. So me personally I like this scent but people just said it smelled like too alcoholic for them but when it dries down it's a great scent. Now when you do smell it you kind of be like mm, you know it does smell like a little a little alcohol but um the dry down is is incredible and it just smells so good i mean i can only imagine how the baccarat would smell if i had it and layered it and um you know just had the had the real deal because wow i know i know it it smells so great on the skin but this is you know another affordable option this does cost a little more and when i say a little more i don't mean much okay i'm talking about what i would say maybe 25 24 maybe yeah or something like that but the bottle is heavy duty this is glass all of their fragrances are glass so and this is Ede perfume so that's why it lasts a little longer as well because what are these other zara ones oh it doesn't say oh it says Ede perfume okay i was gonna say anytime it says perfume that means that the lasting power is longer but um again I love this give it a try if you like um and if you don't like it you can take it back you know so I just realized I have a lot of YSL perfumes this is my third YSL perfume and this is the YSL Mom Paris oh my gosh I'm getting a bigger one of this too now I got this on sale at Ulta for $40 me and my homegirls we are in a group chat and when I tell you we are fragrance addicts, like my friends literally sent me um, 
that also was having this on sale for 40 and I snatched it up and we all sent our uh confirmations like yeah we all got it this is such a beautiful scent it's so girly um this is perfect for during the day or at night like I absolutely love this I mix this with my Miss Miss Dior and I know that's crazy but like I said once you start getting fragrances you just be trying stuff I mean I feel like there is no wrong way to do anything it's literally what you want to do like who cares um but yeah this is one that uh i use very lightly as well because i don't want it to run out and my thing is like i have a fear of running out of perfumes it's it's crazy because it's like and i think that's why i preserve them because i don't want them to run out <laughs> all right fruity yes sweet fresh white floral uh citrus woody and floral and i feel like you definitely get more of the sweet fruity floral for sure so if you like floral you like sweet and fruity scents um you do get a little citrus i will say um this is like perfect like i love this ysl it has they got some good fragrances as you can see and i was able to snag this for 40 dollars. so make sure you just um I don't know turn on maybe Ulta's emails my friends told me about it I don't think I've, I uh, I'm not signed up for Ulta's emails and I probably should just in case I don't want to miss any other deals because $40 for this YSL and this one ounce that is such a great price like I said YSL's YSL's um perfumes are very expensive so um and if you rack your points up at Ulta you can get money off so I definitely think all the girlies should have this one no lie i feel like anybody would like this any I, like it's such a good girly scent like yeah like i know you'll get hella compliments on this i've gotten hella compliments on this like yeah what are you wearing why is on my nose my buddy and it just sounds like expensive oh mm, 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 mm. again all of my fragrances have the same notes which I think is hilarious to me, but uh, I like what I like. I oh, like, and that's on period. Now, how you get this back on here? My next one that I'm talking about, oh my God, y'all. When I smelled this at Sephora, I said, yeah, I'm saving up and I'm coming back. And to be honest, I didn't even go back to Sephora. I also purchased from Rebel Sense, if I did not mention that earlier, our ebl sense um wow baby talk about talk about a fragrance baby victor wolf flower bomb oh my gosh you see where it is you see she's almost out too fruity floral it got a little must to it like all my other ones <laughs> like all my other ones um yeah she's that girl and this is an all year round scent too. There is no, and this is definitely pop. This will definitely be popping in spring and summer, I will say. But if you want to wear this for date night, during the day, whatever, like I feel like you can't go wrong. Brunch, you can't go wrong with this at all. And the lasting power is so good on this. This lasts for a very long time. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. When I smelt it in um sephora i was like yeah I'm, I'm coming back to get this and it's it's worth every penny and i saved some money on rebel sense again they ain't sponsoring this video but if y'all want to you can um but i got them for rebel sense saved a little money um i think this one starts off at like 120 or something i think i probably got it for like 80 dollars or something um so yeah definitely get on rebel sense because they have discounted perfume prices and it is authentic same with fragrance net it's it's authentic um so just in case you guys were worried about that we don't we don't do no fake perfumes I, I'm, I'm very scared of that but um yeah so this is another one that you will not regret very girly floral and i feel like um it doesn't really matter when you wear her at all and it's strong it's a great scent like definitely in their bag when they make this definitely got to pick me up another one and they have other um kinds of D victor wolf but i need to go to sephora so i can smell them because um uh people in my group have been talking about um other scents by him so very curious to see uh what else they have to offer but again victor wolf firebomb you won't regret i got this from rebel sense 
You can find that Sephora too. We, we know who this is. We know her. All the girls know her. All the baddies know who this is. All the girly girls know who she is. And that is Burberry Hair. Um, I need to get a bigger size in this one too, okay? Because let me tell you, like, oh my gosh, like, wearing this scent, you just feel so confident, a baddie, you just feel sexy, like, you smell edible. I mean, there's really no other way to put it. Um, this is such a beautiful scent. Um, this is one of my favorite scents. Um, and I will say that um, this is more for uh, spring and summer, I will say. Um, I haven't worn this uh, in the winter at all because I feel like um, it just wouldn't last as long as the other um, fragrances that I have for the winter. Um, I feel like this is saved more for the spring and the summer. And it's such a beautiful scent. I paired this with my um, oil perfumery oil in Burberry Her, which is very strong and smells very identical um, to the fragrance. But um, yeah, these two together, like rubbing that oil on and then spraying your perfume. I also have um, the roller in the Victor Wolf too. Like that combo together, girl, you gonna get a lot of lasting power. I, I remember I went to, out to sushi with my friend and this man was like, oh my God, like, what do you have on? And I just did like that. And he was like, he brought his other, the other server. He was like, you gotta smell this. Like, you gotta smell this. And it was this, it was that. Like, oil perfumery, I definitely recommend as well. Um, if you are, again, not ready to purchase a bottle and if you just want to just try some things i definitely recommend um using oil perfumery they always have discount codes and some of their oils um the most i've seen it be is like 16 dollars, but i've always gotten them on sale so definitely sign up for their email so you can be looking out but this is such a great way to get the most use out of your perfumes as far as layering goes and then this is just something that i like to keep in my purse too um take out of town you know because you never like I don't like taking my bottles out of town because I don't want them to break, but um, the rollers work just as great, especially if you have a perfume that you love, you can just get the oil. Now, they don't have everything on there because I think I did try to look for um, a specific one. I think it was the Chanel and I didn't see it on there, but hopefully they continue to add more. But still, y'all should definitely go check out Old Perfumery. Such a great way to layer your scents. This combo together, undefeated, you're gonna get compliments. Men are gonna be falling to your feet. Okay, that's just, and I want, and I know they have a deluxe one or a 2.0, not a deluxe. Is this is an album. <laughs> um, <laughs> they have like Alexa or something like that. Um, yeah, it's like a matte pink bottle. I want to try that one because they said it's better than this one. So if it's better than this one, oh girl, it's over. It's over with. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get that before the um the spring and summer come. But definitely, all my girls, you need something like this. This is such a great scent. My I bought this for my sister for her birthday and used it all up. I said, yeah, I'm gonna have to teach you how to how to use your fragrances, baby, because you can't use it all up in one week. Okay. <laughs> but it's literally that good um yeah love this so another fragrance that i love is miss dior i mean first of all look at her the name the bottle i mean she's definitely that freaking girl if you want to smell like a bougie rich beach this is the fragrance for you again fruity floral musky notes y'all know all my stuff is the same i don't think this has any like vanilla i would say it does not i will say you get you it's definitely like more fruity for floral but let's check just to make sure yeah citrus rose woody sweet warm spicy soft spicy balsamic and floral absolutely this describes it to the t um i begged my boyfriend for this Oh, it just smells so good. And it just smells so luxurious. Like, I mean, definitely like special occasions, um, date night. Uh, this is a great day scent as well. I feel like you can wear this anytime too, but it would, she would definitely 
uh, thrive in the spring and summer because I will say it's a fresh scent. That citrus really brings out the freshness in it. And um, as far as lasting power does last, I wore, oh, oh Lord. I wore a, um, a hoodie to my friend's uh, housewarming and I got so many like compliments on this perfume. I actually had mixed this one in the in the Mon Paris together. If I didn't tell y'all that I did, I mixed these two together. And like I said, you just gotta try stuff. But um, it definitely was uh, really, really good. And I absolutely love this one. This is like one of my favorites out of my collection. Between this one, Burberry Her, and the Flower Bomb. Oh, I got a lot. I can't. It's hard to choose like but this is definitely one of my favorites like forever in my collection definitely would get this one again <laughs> another fragrance that i picked up um from fragrancenet.com is this coach dreams sunset now when i was at my g daddy's house which is my grandpa um my g mama had uh the coach dreams and i was like i took a picture of it and i was like i need that now but i got on my facebook group and i was like let me just you know uh see what else is out there as far as coach fragrances go and they say if you like dreams you need to get sunset and baby the girls were not lying and it comes in such this cute bottle like this is actually the sprayer right here but um this is definitely a summer scent. Um, I have not worn this yet because, you know, it's we're still in the winter uh, months and I just feel like this would thrive gray in the spring and in the summer. It definitely has that floral, uh, citrusy, amber, vanilla, sweet, fruity, white floral, aromatic, amber, and powdery. And oh my gosh, I love it. I love it and I kind of want to uh, get the dreams anyway but this bottle is absolutely stunning and coach has like a three pack sample it's poppy coach dreams and then it's another one because I took photos of it and I, I, I think I want the poppy one um, I gotta check in my phone but yeah I've never had or never owned a coach fragrance um, love their bags but I was like let me see what this is talking about and this was like 60 to 60 dollars but I got a 30% off on fragrance net so again they have her on there make sure you always go to fragrance net rebel sense or um, those are the ones I really shop on before you go and um, get the marked up price in store so you can you know save you a coin but spring and summer definitely recommended for coach sunset dreams um, I can see this being you know me out on the beach somewhere on vacation girl with my sundress on and my bag honey with my shades on with my braids like yeah she's giving fresh okay Versace bright crystal yeah yeah and the girls are telling me to try yellow diamond and this is definitely giving floral powdery mm-hmm and definitely um spring and summer haven't worn this since i think like august to be honest because again this is a light airy scent um very fresh i feel like the summer scents that are like fresh and citrusy you know they don't they just don't thrive in the winter time so i would suggest using this in the summer and honestly this was very inexpensive on fragrance net the Versace Bright Crystal, she's that girl. And look at this bottle. And I just think Versace in general, in general just screams like luxury because, you know, the because of the brand that they are. And I absolutely love this one. So I really want to try the Yellow Diamonds. Let me know if you've tried the Yellow Diamonds um, down below. But Bright Crystal, she's definitely that girl. I want to get a bigger one. I had just got, I actually blind bought this. Um, I, I got a smaller one and um because it's my first time trying it and it was very inexpensive and i was like whatever but um yeah i love this perfect for spring and summer good day scent you can take this on vacation as well i've took this on many vacations in jamaica this is literally all all i wore this one in the daisy mark jacobs daisy that i'm going to show you guys here in a minute that's another good spring summer scent but definitely recommend versace crystal Another one that is so cute is the Marc Jacobs Daisy. Um, I will say this is a EAU So Fresh. So this is not a perfume. This is this does not last long at all. I will be straight up honest with y'all. Um, now, 
do I love her? Yes, but the lasting power on this, it just doesn't last long. And um, like I said, it's the EAU Fresh, E Fresh. I have no idea how to say that, but it's not a perfume. So the oils aren't gonna last on your skin as long as the other ones. But yeah, she's definitely one to be worn in the spring and summer. She's not a false scent. Um, you definitely get powdery from this. Um, let's see what else you get from it. Fruity, sweet, green, floral, violet, powdery, fresh, citrus, and rose. Yeah, fresh, citrus, rose, powdery is definitely what you get from this. Um, and it's a beautiful fragrance. It just doesn't last all day. Um, I took this to Myrtle Beach. I took this to Jamaica. Um, but my boyfriend also bought me this one. So he's bought three in my collection. He really the one who got me like started on fragrances. Because when we first got together, like he like had, had such, a, such a big wide variety of fragrances. And I was just like, yeah. And then he started buying me fragrances. And then I just got addicted because I didn't want those to run out. So I would buy more so i wouldn't run out but yeah he definitely did his thing with this one he has great taste again like i said <laughs> great taste um this bottle is so pretty i want to get a bigger one of this but i definitely think the girls should pick this up go smell it go try it you won't regret it spring and summer is coming up so you want to be smelling good and fresh girl so go grab this mm. and that's jimmy Choo blossom again this reminds me I'll say this reminds me of the Versace Bright Crystal. I'm not I'm not even going to hold you. Like, it definitely reminds me of that. It still has that floral scent. Look, your girl love florals. I don't know how many times I done said that in this video. Probably a million. But my dad bought me this for Christmas, I believe. And I was like, wow, like this smells so good. But around Christmas time, you know, I couldn't wear it because, again, this is another spring and summer scent. So I wouldn't wear this in the wintertime. Um, I yeah nah fruity sweet rose floral fresh and citrus yeah and that's the vibes that you definitely get from this it's it's a great scent and this is very inexpensive too on fragrance now you're not this jimmy Choo is not going to hurt the bank too much love this jimmy Choo blossom great uh summer and spring scent very fresh this is another one that i would take on vacation as well so daisy Jimmy Choo, Versace, Coach Sunset are ones that are great for vacation. Um, I would say Burberry Hurt too. Absolutely. Especially for like a night nice scent. Um, and then I don't know if I said Daisy, but I would take Daisy too. So, yeah. Last but not least, Valentino. And baby, I got a $75 gift card to, to, to um, Ulta plus points and i'm about to get that board aroma oh my gosh i can't wait to tell y'all about that when i get that board aroma because it is fire my friend had it on i was like girl what is that it oh god wow look we ain't even on that we on valentino look at this bottle though giving luxury vibes i gotta get a bigger one of this next time too but oh my gosh i had went to sephora 2021 um and i was like i want to you know see what this smells like because i love the bottle girl grown and sexy talk about a grown woman yeah and y'all in your six inch heels going to dinner yes ma'am this is the one i'm wearing to dinner yeah because it's get like I wear this a lot at night. This is not a day scent for me. This is definitely date night, night out with the girls, um, dinner, drinks, whatever. This is definitely not a day scent. This is grown and sexy scent. And it's, it's, a, it's a night fragrance. Like, oh my gosh. Voice Viva? Voice Viva? Voice, yeah, Voice Viva. Oh, they have an intense too? They killing me with these intense fragrances so yeah citrus white floral vanilla sweet powdery warm spicy musky woody aromatic yeah baby all that and i will say you definitely get like the warm spice from it and the vanilla and the musk um but like i said that's mainly my whole collection that's what that is all those perfumes that i've showed you guys they basically all have the same notes just different scents to me 
but this is such a great find again ysl beauty um my friend actually told me that they have sales all the time on their fragrances um actually this is not ysl this is valentino i'm sorry valentino had um a sale as well during black friday but unfortunately I was not able to get the Born Aroma because I was trying to be financially responsible. And I was like, girl, you just bought the YSL Libre like you pushing it. Grocery card. You know, I was like, girl, I was at that brunch table. My friend had that fragrance on, that Born Aroma. I was like, I was like, girl, you, 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 you just bought that. Like, no. But <laughs> um, definitely a restock for me and uh definitely getting that born in roma that is my next one that i am purchasing hands down okay i got a whole list of fragrances that i want to purchase like literally i'm just checking them off um and i can't wait till i'm able to you know check all of them off and then start a new one but um yeah this is the last one in my fragrance collection that i'm talking about oh i know i said that i had some that um i wouldn't purchase again but honestly purchase them all again i recommend them all but um yeah y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much again for tuning in and just waiting on me and being patient and waiting on this again doing all that talking i definitely have a good collection and if you have any questions you looking to start girl just go ahead and start um you don't have to break the bank okay i promise you i gave you some affordable options and i gave you some luxury options so again thank you guys for tuning in i love y'all i'll see y'all in the next video bye